Alrighty guys, so of course this list would be pretty boring and worthless if all we could do is stick text into it. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom list items. In other words, how to create something like if you want to make a Twitter feed or an Instagram or a like a, the Facebook stream. What you can do is you can have these items consist of images, text, any widgets that you want. Actually you can have um, inputs in there whatever so in this tutorial I'm gonna be making a very simple one It's just gonna have an image and a little bit of text to the right hand side say you're looking through like a list of your friends or contacts or something however once you understand the basics of how to create custom rows then um, you guys are gonna understand like how to make any type of layout so I didn't want to overwhelm you guys so this is what I want you to do first go ahead and grab any image let me minimize all this stuff alright go ahead and grab any image from the internet just so you can have some image to play around with I'm using mine so if you want to use the same one as I am then you can just go to my profile right click and save as but make sure that it's at least like at least 100 by 100 pixels and if you have something that's square it's probably a little bit easier but here is my image right here I named it chunky now go to your Android project that you're working on and just go to it in Windows Explorer and navigate to this remember whenever we want to use images we need to stick it inside the resource drawable and whenever we have images in here then we can use them in our layouts so that's what we're gonna do so if you go to like I said whatever your project name was and you go to app source main res this stands for resources and I'll talk to you guys through in like I don't know like five tutorials or something what all of these mean um you can just pick HDPI for now essentially real quick um you put different images in here depending on it has to deal with the user's device resolution and making it compatible with a bunch of different devices but again not really important just didn't want to you know skip over it real quick just stick your image in Drupal HDPI and now whenever you, you can actually just close out of this whenever you look at your project again check it out it automatically updates you don't need to like click a refresh button or anything like that alright so to create a custom row this is what we have to do we actually make a brand new XML file so if you right click layout and click new you can just choose layout resource file and I'm just gonna name this file um, custom underscore row now for the root element it needs some kind of root element and let's just make this a linear layout and choose OK so again what we're gonna be doing is this is kind of like designing a fragment you pretty much design the template for one individual list item and then instead of this text right here it's gonna call whatever your design was so if you have an image right here and some text on the right hand side each of these rows is gonna be image text image text image text so essentially we design one row and then our code uses it over and over and over again pretty sweet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that image on the left hand side right here and the text on the right so instead of layout actually alright so vertical as you can see it kinda of confused me because look at this the icon for layout vertical is left and right and right here it's up and down so I was like what the heck but you actually want it to be horizontal and remember when it's horizontal that means this right here so you can lay things left and right of each other instead of up and down so we need two widgets in this layout right here the first one is an image view so if you go down to widgets image view then just take this and drag it right on top of your linear layout so of course right here we can put an image in here and we might as well take care of this right now so just for this image if I go down to source 
then what I can do is I can do at drawable slash chunky because remember my image it was named chunky you just hit enter and look at that so that's how you get an image file to show up right here go down to source put at drawable that's the folder name and then the file name without the extension without the dot ping extension alright so that looks pretty good however it's kind of I don't know big it looks to me right now so I'm gonna go up to layout width and instead of wrap content I'm gonna change it to something like I don't know 50 dp I don't know maybe a little bit bigger maybe like 80 dp alright now I'm gonna do the same thing for height 80 dp hit enter and the last thing I actually want to do is check this out you see how it's butted up right up against the edges I want to give it a little bit of space so if I go to oops I'm on a wrong thing alright so if I go to layout margin and all what you can do is you can give margins individually like I only want the left margin I only want the top but I actually just want to add a little bit of padding around all uh, four border so I'm just gonna give it like a 5 dp margin and as you can see what it does is it just adds a little bit of padding around every single side and I don't know I just think it looks a little better so now that we got the image taken care of what we need to do now is we're just gonna add a text view and I might as well just add a large text so large text drop it on linear layout again and it's automatically gonna place it to the right since you have your linear layout set to horizontal and we can just leave this text whatever it is by default because again what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating these dynamically through Java but for right now um, okay, those both look good I also want to change the padding on this so for the layout margin make sure you have your text view selected what was this one 5dp might as well set it the same 5dp alright looking good and what else I mean, it looks pretty good to me alright so again for this tutorial if this was a social network or something we would want to change each of these images dynamically but for right now since we only have the string I'm just going to be showing you guys how to change the text for every single row and then once you understand how to change the text you're going to understand how to change everything you know no use having like five different columns and then just typing the same code over and over again so the first thing we need to do is we need to get an ID to this text view because of course we need a way to reference it so select your text view go down to ID and I'm gonna name this Bucky's text and hit enter alright so pretty sweet this of course is the design for one individual row so eventually every one of these rows or list items is gonna have an image icon and a bit of text to the right of it so how the heck do we do that 